Hello and welcome to the breakdown. Once again, we'll be looking at all four games of Dialogue Rugby League Week 2 action. Also, join me today is Paul Toya. He has been in the country for so long now. Uh, he knows the ins and out of the uh, Sri Lanka rugby and he also have uh, played his uh, rugby during his era in southern part of France and also in New Zealand and in Australia. And uh, we'll have a look at the first game of the Dialogue Rugby League. That was on Friday, Havelocks versus Police Sports Club. It was at Police Park. Police uh, were struggling in the first game and they came back uh, into the second half because they were scoreless, Havelocks leading 23 points to nil on that first game. Paul, your thoughts on that game? I thought um, Police looked like they weren't playing for each other. I thought maybe they were, uh, it might have shown because they had a... Uh, a poor build-up and a poor pre-season. Maybe they're playing. They're not. They're not quite gelling yet. But uh, Havelock's really dominated the first half, and they put the game away before half time. Um, Havelock's look like they're on their. They're on their game. Like their line speed's really good. When they've got the ball in hand, they they attack really well. So uh, they deserve the lead at half time. Indeed, and it's also made a difference that uh, Dulaj Pereira coming as number ten because last time he played at full back and. Uh, his move into number 10, his uh, pet position, he said uh, after, the, uh, uh, after the game to the Papare.com. So it made a huge difference in terms of distributing and also uh, Niroshan Fernando playing at number 12. That's also a good combination with him. Uh, we see uh, Kanchan Ramanaika who played as a wing and played as a centre against Air Force. We'll talk about that. And also Prasad Madhu Sanka, he was so impressive last year's highest try scorer. You saw that gates are open. He saw the space. Thank you very much. He scored two tries. He probably could have gotten three. Just like the, the ball just flicked off the end of his finger, and he, he might have gotten that intercept. But that's that's the speed he has off the mark. He's very fast. Um, his thought, uh, uh, speed of thought, is very fast as well. And as soon as, as soon as he sees an opportunity, he goes for it. And that's why he scores so many tries. Absolutely. And also, it was a. Uh, once again, Radisha, Seneviratna and Sudarshan Muthutantri getting two yellow cards from the breakdown position. And uh, Radisha, of course, going to argue with the referee. But uh, Radisha is one good player who can turn over things. When Muthu plays in the opposite, he, both uh, Radisha and Muthutantri are like similar in terms of going into a breakdown position. Uh, so, uh, Chamara Dabare, I was so impressed. He used to play for Sri Lanka and he's finding his rhythm. Like I said last week, he was so good in the Asian Sevens. Uh, uh, I beg your pardon, in the Super 7s as well as uh, he was quite unfortunate not to get his chance. But he was so good winger, he scored one try and he al almost scored the second try. Yeah, that was a great run, wasn't it? The 60 metre dash and uh, after a great a great hit, spot tackle by uh, one of the police players. But um, the ball just seemed to pop out and, you know, he's got a, he showed a clean pair of heels and he's very, very fast. Let's have a look at the try point scorers. Uh, Prasad Madhusang, of course, scored two tries to put the name on the try sheet and Chamara Dabare and Nishan Pereira scored a try each and uh, Dulaj Pereira making four conversion and three penalties an overall tally of 26 points just a one below Arshad Jamaldin of Candy Sports Club and uh, moving on to the next game that we had Army versus CHNFC on Friday as well uh, Army 39 points to 12, CHNFC managed to score their first try. Credits uh, to Mohamed Rifkan, they are loose forward. And uh, talking about that game, Paul? I thought um, CHNFC looked a little bit lost, to tell you the truth. Um, Army really just put them to the sword, and, uh, and that's why they scored 39 points. It, was, it seemed to be a bit easy for Army. Yeah, what do you think about in terms of when you concede so much points, 96 points in the first game, but you're scoring 12 points in the second game and conceding pretty less? I think um, he's up, the coach has obviously done some work on their defence. He'll have to do more work on their defence. And that's somewhere where they can build. Like That's the first thing, they, the first building block they need to have. Uh, if I was the coach, I'd be spending all week on defensive systems just to stop leaking so many points. It's 140 points in, in two games, that's not good enough. Well, uh, there's also a few argy-bargy and few cards coming out in that game, and which is uh, not pleasant to watch. In fact, one tackle on uh, Rohit Rajapaksha, which was went horizontal, referee was rightly so awarding a yellow card, but uh, unfortunately, the incident uh, had took place after that, which is not acceptable in the league, especially in the club level rugby in Sri Lanka. And for the try scorers, point scorers, if you have a look, uh, Gayan Salin, who scored most points for Army last year, he started his kicking duties with three conversion and a penalty. And uh, Chamara Silva scoring two tries, Sanjeeva Hapugas Kumura scoring a try, and Sumedha Nanakara, Mohamed Rizvi, the scrum half, and Aravinda Karnaratna scoring a try each. And uh, for CHNFC, Janit Chandimal, one try. 
Faris Ali one conversion and Mohammed Rif Khan the loose forward scored one try. And moving on to the game of the week, uh, which was a surprise actually, Air Force beating the defending champions Candy Sports Club, uh, which is a surprise like I said. I think Air Force last beat Candy, if I'm not mistaken, during 86 or 87, during a Clifford Cup game. But uh, what a game that is, Paul. Your thoughts? Well, I thought um, the, best, the, the man of the match actually was the coach, uh, Leonard De Silva. Um, he gave he gave his players at Air Force. Firstly, he gave them a plan. Then he gave them the belief in that plan, and the plan was to take the game to Candy and play with the ball and and attack and attack and attack. And um, they got back to and it was even what twenty one all with uh, three minutes to go with with five minutes to go. And then in the last three minutes, they got the extra kick. But it wasn't in the last three minutes that that game was decided. It was in the first minute with the belief, or the second minute with the belief in the team, and they came out and they, they took it to Candy, and uh, it's great for everyone else to see. I, I thought Candy, um, their forwards didn't really get around the paddock as well as they should have. There was holes outside um, the second and third defender. Uh, they'll need to look at that. They've got such a talented backline, um, but it seems like the backline they're using, they just seem to move the ball wide and then let the stars do something out wide, and uh, I think they might be better used maybe holding the defences in the middle and then maybe creating space on the outside instead of the, the SARS being expected to create something from nothing. Yeah, and I also feel that when the after the break on the when the ball was sent out to the backs, Kanchan or Ramanayaka, then Danush Karanjan, Richard Dharmapala, Danush Dan, they all are from a, a Sri Lanka seven squad. Sometimes they try to play like a sevens game. Uh, we saw that, but only one sweet hands came, uh, which as a result, Danush Dan scored that first try for Candy Sports Club. But... 11 or 12 knock-ons and two forward pass is not acceptable in the likes of Candy. That's right, you know, they're, they're superstars for a reason, that's because their skills are so good. But um, it seemed like they were moving the ball and it was going so far backwards that uh, the defence could just shift. They just Quickly drift. rush into them, yeah. Yeah, well they were just drifting wide and, um, and then when they got it out wide they just didn't have the numbers, like they... Uh, they didn't have the space or the numbers, and the defence was there to take care of that. But that would have been put in place by the coach. Uh, De Saul would, put, would have put that in place for, for Air Force, and they came up with it, and uh, they executed the plan really well. Yeah, Air Force uh, led the game 14-7 at the halftime. Then when Fazil Manuja came in the second half, he assisted one try, and he scored one try. Then it was 21-all. Then Air Force uh, nerves must be on the stands, like, I don't know what's going to happen, but it was so good game. Charit Seniratna putting a beautiful uh, penalty kick on the 72nd minute, which gave them the confidence. And especially Ashok Vijaykumar must mention a debutant uh, starting his first game for the Air Force. He controlled the game. He showed that he has the maturity with, to play the school's rugby and come to the club rugby and debut that. Yeah, yeah. He's got a great future ahead of him. He um, has got a very mature head. He knows when to speed the game up, knows when to slow it down. But he also calls his forwards into the game and... Uh, I think they attacked that the channel just a little bit wider of, uh, of, of a set piece play um, where Candy were a little bit lost, I thought, and so he controlled that well. Yes, uh, and also one thing must say, after all those uh, stop play, uh, Paul, like I said, 12 knock-ons and two forward passes, the game time is very little, probably 20 or 25 minutes, uh, uh, the real game time. Uh, and from that, Air Force, like you said, credit to coach Leonard De Silla, they just played the territorial game come into the opposite half, then from their attack. Even after they scored uh, the point seven all, and they had a kickable penalty for 30 meter, instead going for the uprights, they went for the touch, and they had so much belief and confidence to drive the Candy, uh, candy uh, front row. That's right. Um, candy have got a great set piece. Don't get me wrong, they're, they're very good at line outs and scrums, but um, if you want to frustrate them, you just get, sneak a little bit ahead, like uh, Air Force did, and then the stoppages and they slow the game down and it just frustrates players and, and once you get frustrated it's difficult to play a natural game and that's, that might have had some sort of contributing factor towards the so many knock-ons and just so many uh, basic errors I suppose from Candy. Let's have a point scorer names uh, for this game. Uh, Ishara Madhushan, Lahiru Udyanga and Ramdas Ramesh scoring for Candy and Charit Seniratna, three conversion and a penalty, all three conversion from the wide angle which is good to see. And uh, for Candy, Danush Jayan, Shashika Jayawardhan and Fazil Marja scoring a try. 
Arshad Jamaldin, Kanchan Ramanayaka and Marija putting a conversion each and for the without a doubt the player of the match I thought uh, Saraka the number 8 Air Force number 8 did really well but uh, Ashok Vijay Kumar from his debut game he controlled and he showed his maturity and he won the deserving man of the match uh, on that game and uh, moving on to the next game which we had on Sunday at Valisara CRNFC versus Navy Sports Club it was a close half Six points to seven, Navy leading in the first half, but uh, from second half onwards, Navy changed their tactic. They played according to their strength, using their forwards in the likes of uh, uh, in the likes of Dulanjana Vijay Singh and uh, also Satya Ranatunga coming in, also Nivanka Prasad. But uh, they pretty much in the uh, standing commanding uh, lead in the second half. Part. Yeah, so I thought uh, CRNFC, um, that's another team like Police, that looked like the team spirit's not quite right. Um, it's hard to say if you're not in, in, in the inner circle of the team, but from the outside it looks like they're not quite playing for each other and they're not, they're not quite gelling yet. Um, it looked, so what it looks like for us when you watch the game is it just looks like they're a little bit disorganised. So when you have a good team spirit and when your tech players play for each other, it looks like they're really organised and they, they move up in a defensive line together. When they don't have that link, it's difficult for them. And whether it's... Uh, the team spirit's not there, or whether it's there's a little disconnect between the players and the coach, or it's hard to say. But um... and let's have a look at the try point scorers for this game. Uh, Nivanka Prasad, Navy number eight, scoring one try. Lahiru Herat uh, coming from second half. He got he was sin bin in fact before the half time, and he immediately made made an impact in the second half. And Charit Silva also scoring a try. Tilnavira Singh, last year's highest point scorer, scoring three conversions, and for. CR and FC, uh, only the one consolation try, uh, that was a last minute try by Sashan Mohamed and Riza Mubarak making that conversion and two penalties under his name. And player of the match is Dulanjan Vijay Singh at the Navy hooker. But uh, talking about this game, Paul, uh, Navy clearly they were trying to play like what CR are doing. We saw the CR scrum up from the base, he made the territorial kick and tried to come into the opposite half. Navy also did that plan, but it didn't work for them in the first half. But in the second half, it was very clear they are forwards coming into numbers and they are making lots of faces. But I was surprised also Costa didn't have a good game. He didn't have a good game like the first game where he made a man of the match, stellar performance. But uh, he should, uh, maybe uh, Coach Ben McDougall should have given a chance to Avish Kahin Pala to come and have a go for uh, like uh, 20 minutes or next last 15 minutes. Yeah, that's right. It's always good to, to to bring those, introduce those players. But what I did, I did like what the coach did was uh, change the game plan at half time. Whether it was the leadership group of the team or coming in, or whether it was the coach that uh, that made that change. But uh, that's a that's good for coaching um, to make a make a change and it having a positive effect. And uh, also talking about uh, Richie Dharmapal, he's also showing some good sign controlling the game and showing some maturity and. His combination with Chanak Chandimal, the fly half, it is also nice because Chandimal, whenever he gets the ball, he knows how to sneak through and he knows when to put the territorial kick. So that's a plus point, the half combination for any yeah, team. Yeah, that's right. So what you need to do is, is when you're receiving the ball at 10 or fly half, um, the pitcher that's planted in front of you, whether the players are rush, rushing at you or whether they're all looking out, out, out wide to drift, that's when you make the decision whether you run through the hole, whether you make a kick, whether you pass. It's all, it's all made on what's in front of you, and so he's playing what's in front of him. That's right, and uh, that's all we have for the all four games of Dialogue Rugby League Week 2 actions. And uh, we'll uh, take a look at the coming week's game. Uh, Candy versus Army played at Racecourse Ground uh, at uh, 4 p.m. And also we have another game on Friday between Police Sports Club versus Air Force. That's at Police Park. And on Saturday, the big game, Havelocks versus Sia. That's a night game, 6 p.m. kickoff at Havelocks uh, Sports Club. And uh, also on Sunday, Navy versus CHNFC at Valley Sarah. So those are the four games we have in the week three of Dialogue Rugby League. And until next week, Sabir Khada, myself and Paul Toya signing off for the Fakhari.com.